Northwest football will play in the semifinals for the first time in school history. I'm Jamarcus Fitzpatrick as the Raiders are just days away from their matchup with Cecilia, where if they get a victory, their magical run will make a stop in New Orleans. And within the program, there's an all time belief that it can be done. Could you have ever imagined that this group would make it this far? Uh, honestly, yes. I know people don't believe that, but here in Raider Land, uh, we believed it from day one. Every Northwest playoff win this season has been an upset. The Raiders entered the postseason as the 22nd seed in Division II non-select and proceeded to beat Franklin Parrish, Wasman, and Assumption. It felt good, man. It felt unreal almost. Everybody doubting us. You don't think you're supposed to beat, go out there and beat 7-11 three ranked teams. It means a lot because because I was able to help my team get, get this far in the playoffs and I'm not done yet. Not, not, not until I get to reach next week and play in the dome. The Raiders' main ingredient to success has been discipline. And on top of that, the offense is peaking at the right time. Northwest has scored more than 40 points in five of their last six games. Come on, Sammy! Come on, Sammy! We just keep fighting and we're very disciplined. We listen to what Coach say. And, you know, when times get tough and we, we kind of lose our head a little bit, but we come together as a team and we just fight through. And at this point in time, uh, everybody's evenly matched, so it's going to be who's more, you know, mentally prepared than the next team. Uh, that physical, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have the physical talent. The most pivotal moment in the season came in week six against Iota. The Raiders battled the Bulldogs to a double overtime victory, proving their level of resiliency. It gave those guys confidence they could win in tough games, and, uh, you know, we just built off of that. And now Northwest needs just one final win to get to the Superdome, which would be their first ever appearance in school history. It's just great to come in, especially your first year, and just have such a winning season that gives you inspiration and hope. I hope to like bring more semifinal runs and more state runs and more third-round quarterfinal runs, you know, to the community. Getting a chance to play for a state champ championship would mean a real to this group and to our coaching staff. Uh, you know, it's a, sometimes it's a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and we're close. And uh, like I tell the guys, you, you got this close, let's take advantage of it and let the chips fall where they may. It may be uh, destiny. And with a win on Friday, the Raiders would become the lowest seed to make a state championship game since 2019. The school to last do it would be the Jennings Bulldogs as the 23 seed in the Class 3A state title game. In Opelousas, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick, KTC Sports.